hi guys welcome back so in today's video we will be going through the process of connecting to my sql database from dp for sql client so let's get to it so like i mentioned in this video we will be going through the process of connecting to my sql database using dp for sql client okay so in the last video uh, we went through the process of installing dpfa sql client and i installed it in macbook uh, but if you have windows the process should be pretty similar so in this video we will be going through the process of connecting to my sql database uh, using dpfa uh, but before we proceed if you are new to this channel please uh, do subscribe to the channel so that you can be updated next time i release a similar video okay so <clears throat> let's get to it so right here i i have my uh, dpfa client uh, launched but uh, if you don't just go ahead and open it um, for me i just want to launch pad and open dpfa uh, so once you are in uh, the dpfa uh, studio um, then how do you connect to your uh, SQL database. So there are two things that you need to have here. You do need to have uh, my SQL database set up. Okay, so you you, you need to have downloaded the um, uh, my SQL database and have it up and running. So I previously went the process of installing my SQL uh, in Windows, uh, but the process again is still similar if you're using Mac. And I have. Um, my sql workbench that uh, i did install during the installation process of my sql server and right now this is my um, uh, workbench so when you think about it uh, dp is really uh, the same as a workbench but sometimes you might prefer to use a uh, dp better than my sql because uh, dp allows you to connect to many many other databases so if you have a lot of data sitting in different databases then dp might be the best uh, client to use uh, but again this is uh, my sql workbench and i do have uh, some data here um, i mean i i have this schemas here with some data in it uh, so yeah so this is th this is basically just my sql database um, uh, running in my SQL workbench. So uh, in DP for now to connect to my SQL database, uh, just go ahead and click this uh, uh, button up here where it says new database connection and then just come to my SQL. Again, the process will be similar if you're connecting to any of these other ones. So I'm just going to select my SQL and it will bring us to this new window here. And uh, this is where we uh, can enter the uh, login credentials. So again, you do need the server. So for me, the uh, server host is running locally. If you're running it in um, in another server, then you will need to put the, the server host near. So here, I'm just going to put local host because again, it's running locally for me. Uh, you can also put, I believe, instead of local host, you can do 127. Dot zero, dot zero, dot one. I think that is the equivalent equivalent IP for a local host. Uh, but I'll just leave it as local host. And for the database, I want to connect to all the databases in my SQL. Uh, so when we connect, we should be able to see uh, the three of these um, databases or schemas that I currently have. Um, so I'm just going to leave this empty. And then the port will always stay default for my SQL 3360 or 06. Um, and then uh, just put the name here. So I'm using root, but if you have a different username, just put the username and then put the password. Okay. Uh, and then uh, go ahead and uh, test the connection. Okay. So. You can see here for me that it has connected successfully without issues. Um, some of the issues that you will see here might be related to if you don't put the password correctly or the username, it might not work. Just make sure that the password and the user that you put uh, is, the, is the user and the password that works. Uh, usually, I, you know, this is the one that I set up. It's the same user that I set up when I was doing installation and the same password. 
Um, sometimes after you install, you can go ahead and create a user and assign a password. You can go ahead and use the same as long as it's a valid user and valid password. Okay. So just make sure that uh, these two are correct. Um, and then one of the other thing that you will probably notice when doing this uh, connection is the driver. Um, one of the first things that dbfa does is it's going to go ahead and install uh, uh, the driver. So when you click test here, it might pop up another window saying, oh yeah, you need to uh, um, install this additional driver. So just go ahead and download it. Uh, so and, and then once that is done, just go ahead and uh, hit your test connection. So this should work. And then after that, just go ahead and hit finish. Okay. And now uh, your database is ready. So you can go ahead and check. So you can see now we are able to see our schemas in MySQL. So which is the same, uh, which is the same schemas that we have here. So you can see now we have, you know, I have tables here in my uh, in these are classic models uh schema and uh from there i think you you should be able to go ahead and uh, do some queries so let's see if we can uh, query some data here so um let's see how do i maybe few database you can few database there but instead of doing that let's just go ahead and uh open a new script right here and then we can do select star from uh let's see if we have i'm going to just go to this second one here uh, let's say customers i'm not sure if it needs a schema name but let's see it might we'll see what happens uh it's using ck data tech so let's uh change that to classic classic models sorry I need to put that one after the from close like this classic models dot customers okay like so well, dot customers let's see if this one runs and then just hit click okay there we go so you can see we are able to view our data now from dpfa uh, this is a very powerful tool actually i i recently discovered it and it, it is it is super powerful um so definitely do uh do try it out uh, it will make your life much much easier if you are looking for a client tool that you can use to query your your, your, your various data sources in your various databases all right guys so i mean there's a lot that you can do here i i i read somewhere that you can do er diagrams and all of that you can feel it so th there's a lot that you can explore uh in this tool uh but again in this video i just wanted to quickly show you how to connect to um uh, my sql database from deep pifa okay guys again if you have not subscribed to the channel please do subscribe so that you can stay updated uh for our next uh, videos okay i hope you liked this video uh, until next time i will see you bye bye